the devastation in Japan, the most massive earthquake in over 100 years, triggers a tsunami rocking Japan, leaving total destruction in its wake. Over 13,000 dead and missing. Now, nuclear radiation. Japanese and Americans struggling to survive. Is the nuclear fallout heading to American shores? In the last minutes, the head of the U.S. Regulatory Commission announces fuel rods there at the nuclear power plants now exposed and emitting extremely high levels of nuclear radiation. This as the governor of California declares a state of emergency. Straight out to Sanjay Gupta joining us. Sanjay, what can you tell us? You know, we're in Tokyo now. What we can say is that the radiation levels uh, have certainly spiked at the plants, these nuclear facilities. Uh, people have been measuring these over the last several days, and they've gone up and down, and uh, there have been levels that have been uh, particularly high, much higher than normal. Uh, and, you know, and when I say that, exponentially so, in terms of what you typically expect. Now, what I think uh, people are not paying attention to is that radioactive uh, materials, they get into the air, where are they going after that? What's the wind doing with them? For example, we're south of that particular area in Tokyo, and uh, here yesterday, radiation levels were about 20 times normal. Now, Nancy, people hear 20 times normal, and they're going to say that, you know, this is, uh, this is absolutely uh, a life-threatening situation, and that's not the case. I mean, 20 times normal still are, are low enough where there's not a, a uh, impact on human health. But the concern is, are they going to continue to go up? Are they going to stay elevated? What does the future hold here, which is sort of the point you were making at the beginning of the show?